What's going on guys? Welcome back to One Rivers Vlogs. Hope everyone's doing well. I'm finally back producing content. Uh, I know most of you guys know that I took a bit of a break um, due to bad mental health, but uh, the messages um, and the support that you guys shown were great, so I really appreciate that. And now I'm back. Got a lot of videos planned um, over the Christmas period and so on. Hopefully the football keeps going, but we don't know with COVID, but fingers crossed it does and everyone can can stay safe and is staying safe and following all the correct pro protocols. But yeah, finally back. I also want to say thanks for... Um, smashing uh, 4,000 subscribers as well. Now on the road to 5K, which is crazy. Still can't believe it, but it's all thanks to you guys for enjoying the content, you know, sharing um, everything that you do. Uh, so really appreciate that. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep liking. Keep turning on the notification bell when you know there's a video. Keep subscribing and all that good stuff. But yeah, hope you enjoy this video. A bit of a different one, but I thought with it, basically being halfway through the season I thought it'd be a good idea to um, do my ratings uh, for the season uh, for the players so far leave your ratings as well in the comments it'd be interesting to see everyone's different opinions because that's what football is so yeah hope you do enjoy the video please smash a like and it's only going to be first team players uh, I know there's been a few huge players paid in the EFL uh, trophy games but I'm not going to do any of them because I haven't watched any of them games so only going to be doing first team players and players that have played a, a decent amount of games. So the likes of, say, Yakola, Westbrook, I won't be doing because they've hardly played this season. So starting off in goal, only doing one keeper, um, and that is, of course, James Belshaw. Considering we got him on a free from Harrogate, has only played one league season of football before he joined us, and that was with Harrogate when they got promoted. Um, I think he's pretty much been excellent. Um, made a few errors, but you know every goalkeeper does. But I think he's been really good. Saved us in a lot of games. Um, you know, made over sixty saves so far in the season so far. So for me, I'm going to give him a solid eight out of ten. Um, he's done very well, considering a, a lot of people, including me, have never heard of him before he joined us. But fair play, he's been class, and and the fans love him as well. Um, next up, Mark Hughes meant to be. Was meant to be one of the experienced, um, you know, quality centre back signings. You know, got him on a free, um, you know, thirty four years of age, but he just hasn't been uh, what we thought he would be. Um, you know, we know Accrington fans loved him, but for us, he hasn't really showed that. I know he's been injured as well, but the first like six games he played, I thought he was was very poor. So I'm gonna give him a four out of ten. Uh, next up, Junior Brown, another one we got in on the summer on a year contract on a free was at Scunny last season. And for me, he was only meant to be a backup anyway, and he basically has played backup, played a few games, but of course is now out injured uh, as well. But for me, I, I'm going to give him a solid 6 out of 10. I, I don't think he's done too wrong, you know, just done his job, done the, the basics of what you want a left back to do. You know, with ex experience. So, yeah, for me, 6 out of 10. Uh, Nick Anderton, uh, for me, started the season quite poorly. But I think as the season's gone on, he's been class. Um, he's just got better and better, you know, showing the leadership. Uh, you know, of course, he was captain at Carlisle. And, yeah, for me, he's just getting better and better. I'm going to give him a 7 out of 10 uh, for Nick. Uh, next up, Keen Harry's... Um, Bit of a weird one, Keen Harris, because he, he can have some quality games, but then there's other games where he can, you know, if he makes a mistake, it'll basically cost us a goal or cost us a, uh, a red card like he did against Port Vale. But overall, he's been a, uh, pretty good, but like I said, mistakes and just he just loses his head. So I'm going to give him a 6 out of 10, but there's still, you know, room for him to improve when he comes back from his suspension. Um, Alfie Kilgore, really frustrating with Alfie um, that he got injured because uh, I thought he was playing really well. Uh, I thought he was very solid um, in defence before that injury. Um, hopefully he, he can get back, um, you know, all fit and well sooner rather than later. I know it's meant to be quite a long injury, but yeah, I, I'm going to give Alfie a 7 out of 10. Uh, next up, Luca Hall. Um, of course, started the season away at Mansfield. I thought he was quality. Um, hasn't played loads, but the games he has played in, um, 
I, I think he's played really well and done no harm as, at all. And I thought he played really well uh, against Rochdale as well. Um, sort of a right centre back role, which he's not used to, and he 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 done quality. So for me, I only give him seven out of ten. I think he deserves all the all the praises for a, a young player coming into the first team. Um, and the final defender I'll be doing is Connor Taylor. Uh, one of the players of the season so far, considering this is first, um, you know, loan out in the Football League, of course, on loan from Stoke. Hopefully we can keep him for another season, fingers crossed, but we'll see what happens. But yeah, I think I think he's been excellent, um, you know, for a young, young um, kiddie, you know, I think I think he's been quality. So I'm actually giving him a 10 out of 10 uh, for me. I think he's been excellent. Um, going into the midfielders, starting off with Glenn Whelan. Um, again, got him in on the summer, uh, you know, 37 years of age. Uh, of course, nearly made 100 appearances for Republic of Ireland, but joined Rovers on a one-year deal. Um, started off slow because of pre-season, you know, he wasn't that good, but I can give it him, you know, the benefit of the doubt because, um, like I said, he hasn't, he didn't have a pre-season really before he, he joined us. But I again, I think the more games he's played, the fitter he's got, the better he's looked. Uh, so I'm going to give him a 7 out of 10. You know, he does the basics. That's his job. CDM just clears up, gets the ball out. Uh, so yeah, 7 out of 10. Uh, next up, Paul Coots. Again, sort of the the same with um, Whelan. Didn't really have a pre-season because of COVID and injury. But again, as the season's gone on, uh, I think he's been really good. Um, obviously, before that, there's a lot of people, including myself, was, you know, was, you know, giving him a bit of stick. But, you know, looking back at it, it was because he, he wasn't fit and he's hardly played games. But the more he's played like Whelan, the better he's got. So, again, for me, 7 out of 10 for Paul Coots. Um, next midfielder, Sam Finley. Um, of course, another one we got in the summer. Um, and for me, again, it's it's annoying with him again because he had a slow start as well. Um, I think he had COVID. He had an injury as well in pre-season. Uh, so it took him a few more games to get going. But he's been pretty class, to be honest. I, I love him. You know, he, he can he can score. He can shoot. Loves a tackle. Loves to get involved. Of course, his disciplinary isn't the best as we've seen, you know, Whatever, what, um, whatever people's thoughts are, uh, you know, against um, Port Vale with the red card, and of course he's still got two more games to go on that. But apart, you know, apart from that, he's been he's been class. So I'm going to give him an eight and a half out of ten. Uh, next up, Harry Anderson. He's in the midfielder section, but of course he's been playing wing back for us, which isn't his position. He's never played that before. He's joined. Rovers maybe a few times in his career, but he's mainly been a, been a winger slash right mid. But considering he's not a wing back, he's done very well. I know his defending isn't the best, but like I said, he he's a winger. He's a right mid. He's slash winger. He's not a wing back. Um, and you know when he has gone forward, he's looked quality. I really hope as soon as we get the injuries back, we can push him into the winger. Um, spot so he can show his qualities because when he's gone forward, you know, he's got a few goals, few assists. Uh, but for me, I, I'm going to give him a 7 out of 10. I know his defending isn't um, good, but like I said, I can give him the benefit of the doubt. He's not a wing back, so I'll just stick with that. Uh, Josh Grant uh, played very well uh, when he has played, of course. Again, another one been out injured and again out injured uh, now for a long spell. Which isn't good, but um, for when he's played, you know he's been versatile. Played wing back uh, again before he got injured, and he's been pretty good. So I'm gonna give him a seven out of ten. Uh, next up, Anthony Evans, uh, probably my player of the season, considering we got him on a free. He was our last signing on deadline day, um, and you know me and a lot of people looked, and you know he hasn't really done that well in his career. He hasn't had a run of games, but. You know, since he's come to us, got 12 goal contributions, eight assists, four goals from midfield, and he's been class. Uh, so for me, um, I think he's only had one bad game, um, and that was probably Forrest Green, but I can let him off with that. So for me, Anthony Evans gets a 10 out of 10 for me. Um, absolutely been class on a free as well. We just need to get him signed on the new deal um, ASAP, really. Uh, next up, Brett Pittman. Um, sort of when we play to his strengths, he's good. But obviously, when we start hoofing it, 
um, then it's not his game. But for me, I'm going to go six and a half out of ten. I think he can still do better as well and still got a lot to give for Rovers uh, for this season. Sam Nicholson, um, again, injuries, uh, again, has affected a lot of our players. And the same with Sam Nicholson. Obviously, had the bad injury last season where he missed like three or four months. And again, this season, he's had niggles. So, um, but, you know, forgetting all that, um, when he has played, I thought, think he's been good. Obviously, there's still more to come. Uh, but for me, I'm going to give him a 7 out of 10. Uh, next up, Aaron Collins. Uh, of course, last few weeks, last sort of month and a bit, he's been unbelievable, really. You know, scoring two in his last game, getting goals in the FA Cup. Scored a worldie against Oxford in the FA Cup. And for me, he's only looking better and better. So I need him a 7 for now, but I think he can easily be a 9 or a 10 come the end of the season if he carries on the form he is at the moment. Uh, next up, Harvey Saunders. Uh, again, been injured quite a lot this season, but when he has played, he's looked really good, really lively, pressing, always looking to get on, on the front foot. So for me, 7 out of 10. And we've got two more players left, one being Luke Thomas. Uh, I'm going to give him a 5 out of 10. He's obviously had mental health issues last season, which hasn't helped. Didn't hardly play last season, so he's still really getting fit, uh, to be honest. But there has been glimpses, but I think if he can carry on getting fit and trying to get in the first team, then he, he can be the difference in the second half of the season. And then finally, Sion Spence pretty much only played like 200 minutes, but... I think he's been class when he has played, so I'm going to give him a 9 out of 10. Uh, but yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, leave your ratings down below. Please hit the like button, and I'll see you in the next video. Up the gas.